The human spine is made up of 24 spinal bones called vertebra. The vertebra are stacked on top of one another to create the spinal column. The spinal column gives the body its main upright support. From the side, the spine forms three curves. The neck, called the cervical spine, curves slightly inward. The mid-back, or thoracic spine, curves outward. The outward curve of the thoracic spine is called kyphosis. The low back, also called the lumbar spine, curves slightly inward. An inward curve of the spine is called lordosis. The lumbar spine is made up of the lower five vertebra. Doctors often refer to these vertebra as L1 to L5. The lowest vertebra of the lumbar spine, L5, connects to the top of the sacrum, a triangular bone at the base of the spine that fits between the two pelvic bones. There is a joint on each side of the sacrum that connects the sacrum to the pelvis. This joint is called the sacroiliac or SI joint. Each vertebra is formed by a round block of bone called a vertebral body. The lumbar vertebral bodies are taller and bulkier compared to the rest of the spine. This is partly because the lumbar spine has to withstand pressure from the body weight and from daily actions like lifting, carrying, and twisting. A bony ring attaches to the back of each vertebral body. When the vertebra are stacked on top of one another, these rings form a hollow tube called the spinal canal. This bony tube surrounds the spinal cord as it passes through the spine. Just as the skull protects the brain, the bones of the spinal column protect the spinal cord. The spinal cord extends from the brain to the L2 vertebra. Below this level, the spinal cord splits into a bundle of nerves that goes to the lower limbs and pelvic organs. The Latin term for this bundle of nerves is cauda equina, meaning horse's tail. As the spinal cord travels from the brain down through the spine, it sends out nerves on the side of each vertebra called nerve roots. These nerve roots join together to form the nerves that travel throughout the body and form the body's electrical system. The nerve roots that come out of the lumbar spine form the nerves that go to the lower limbs and pelvis. The thoracic spine nerves go to the abdomen and chest. The nerves coming out of the cervical spine go to the neck, shoulders, arms, and hands. It is sometimes easier to understand what happens in the spine by looking at a single spinal segment. The spinal segment includes two vertebrae, the intervertebral disc between, the two nerve roots that leave the spinal cord at that level, and the small facet joints that link each level of the spinal column. An intervertebral disc is made up of two parts. The center, called the nucleus pulposus, is spongy and acts like a shock absorber to cushion the force between each vertebra. The nucleus is surrounded by a series of strong ligamentous rings called the annulus fibrosus. Ligaments are made of strong connective tissue and connect one bone to another. The annulus fibrosus is actually a special ligament that connects two vertebrae together. Between the vertebra of each spinal segment are two facet joints. The facet joints are located on the back of the spinal column. There are two facet joints between each pair of vertebra, one on each side of the spine. A facet joint is a small bony knob that sticks out from the vertebral body at the back of the lumbar spine. Where these knobs meet, they form a synovial joint that connects the two vertebra. The facet joints of the lumbar spine move together in a sliding motion as you bend forward and backward. The surfaces of the facet joints are covered by articular cartilage. Articular cartilage is a smooth, rubbery material that covers the ends of most joints. It allows the bone ends to move against each other smoothly without friction. Two spinal nerve roots exit the sides of each spinal segment, one on the left and one on the right. As the nerves leave the spinal cord, they pass through a small bony tunnel on each side of the vertebra called a neural foramen. The lumbar spine is supported by a complex set of ligaments and muscles. The ligaments are arranged in layers and run in multiple directions where they connect the bones of the lumbar spine to the sacrum and pelvis. The muscles of the low back are also arranged in layers. Those closest to the surface are covered by a thick tissue called fascia. The middle layer runs up and down over the lower ribs, chest, and low back. They blend in the lumbar spine to form a thick tendon that binds the bones of the low back 
pelvis, and sacrum. The deepest layer of muscles runs along the back surface of the spine. These muscles connect the lumbar vertebra, pelvis, and sacrum and coordinate movement with the muscles of the abdomen to help hold the spine steady during activity. We hope watching this video will help you better understand your orthopedic care. You can find more information about this and other orthopedic conditions or procedures at eorthopod.com.